Uh, welcome, I am the Moonshin King. Oh no, I forgot to write Bobby Metal in the title. It, Meta Taro reminds me of Me Too, indeed. But here we are, Bobby Metal, Meta Taro, Fox Festival at Wembley Arena 2016. Oh, what happened to my camera? What happened to my camera? Indeed, let's get this sorted, shall we? Let me get things in order, it's been some time, but you know I enjoy Bobby Metal, you know it to you, but I've been distracted of late with lots of K-pop indeed. Don't worry, I'll still be going down the list that Elvis sent me, for sure. But I got a lot of requests for K-pop, so that was something I wanted to get out of the way. A good chunk of that, uh, of what was requested currently. <clears throat> I still have a reaction to do from Richard by the Osunbushi, I forgot how to say it, the, that creepy monk guy. And there was another band, uh, e e eclectic, eclectic. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, I have more, I have lots to do, so. Cooler Hitler pose she has going on right there. Could this be Mikio, I wonder, 2016 for you? I'm going to guess not many people react to this. <clears throat> Since uh, the other ones I've done from the list that Elvis sent me, Richard has told me that uh, no one reacts to it, so no one knows about those songs. So I'm guessing the same will be here. This will be Link and Sync. Which means no video, hopefully no audio coming through either. The time is 11.42, Wednesday the 5th of June, 2019. Let's close down this image and let's get on with it, shall we? 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, go. Here we are, red lights. Oh, it's opening. There they are, they are all on stage. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen them all on stage. Yui, Moa and Sue. Together. Okay. This reminds me of something, but I don't know what. Oh. She's wearing... They... Their costume looks a bit different. Their chest is all black now. Or is it always that? No, it's not. Sue's is. Sue's uh, looks a bit different to theirs. Her stomach area is, uh, abdomen is black. It's got the sparkly black, whereas the other two has the sparkly silver, which looks like fish scales. Is, is their skirts different? Usually their skirts are red, I believe. I have missed Bobby Metal, for sure. I like this move they're doing to change their formation. <laughs> Looks very cool. This tiptoeing thing they're doing. Sounds like a nursery, nursery rhyme a little. Look, they're all joining in in the crowd. They're having a lot of fun, aren't they? Oh. 
I've never seen this before, never heard this before. And I think it's very funky for sure. Why isn't this on YouTube? This is on the Vimeo, by the way. Ooh, the fox! The fox for you! It looks like they're miming a drum or something. This is such a strong performance. <laughs> I'm completely out of time, just so you know. <laughs> I love this choreography. There's the water finish as well. Ah, that was great. That was great for sure. Um. <clears throat> Yes, the outfit looked different this time. Uh, I think the skirts are usually always red, as I recall. And I think there was something different about the tops as well. I think it was a different color. I can't recall exactly. But there was... Especially Sue. Sue had, like, black. And I remember it not being like that somehow. Just slightly different. But that was Meta Taro. What does Meta Taro mean to you? Meta Taro. Uh, meaning. What is the meaning? So who? What is Meta Taro? Let's look at this Reddit. Uh, let me show what I am seeing for you. Sorry for stupid question, but I'm not f that familiar with it. But I read references to Ultraman, although... Oh, Ultraman! I've heard of Ultraman. Don't know that much about, but I think if you show the picture, I would recognize him. Although nothing specifically about Meta Taro. Is he a giant fighting robot like Ultraman? He's everybody's hero. The origin of Ultraman. Interesting uh, to me. Let's see that, shall we? Oh no, I can't read it. Translate. <laughs> what is going on? Thank you, Monday after the break. Let's go healthy. No, it might be walk and shift for a while, falling hands. What is going on here? That's Sue, I'm guessing. And this is Yui and Moa. Oh no! Better not play that. Um, um, that was an interesting animation, however. Taro is a generic Japanese suffix like chan or kun, placed at the end of the person's name. I think in this usage it refers to a heroic entity. Are they referring to the fox goddy by any chance? The name Taro can have many different meanings depending on the kanji characters used to write it. The name can also be written using the hiragana or katakana writing systems. Possible variations of the name Taro include strong heroic masculine like me! Abundant prolific melodious ah. Stand up upright. Watch tower for sure. Luxurious select waterfall. <laughs> Bobby Metal used the first of those. 
Metataro, meaning strong, heroic, and masculine. And who represents strong, heroic, and masculine like Su, Moa, and Yuhi? Indeed. Happy Halloween to you. What I want to know is if Synchro Passion is the same song as From Dusk Till Dawn. What's he on about? Do tell me. No, they are completely different. F D T D F From Dusk Till Dawn is like an atmospheric build up into a dubstep piece. Do they have a song called From Dusk Till Dawn? Or is that a game or something? I feel like I've heard that before. Synchro Passion is like the most elegant and heavy anime OP ever. So I lose being American all my life. So, very interesting ideas indeed, don't we have? Um, it, my personal theory is it sounds like metal in Japanese. Metaru, but then they decided to make it into a name. Taro is an ending for a male name of Japan in the past, so instead of are you... Rude, they changed it to Taro, Meta Taro. Interesting to me, Meta Taro is the fox god of war, whereas Kitsune Sama is simply the fox god overlord. So many different interpretations, what do I accept as factual in this world? I have no clue anymore. What do I believe in? What do I read? Who are, do I dictate to and who do I be dictated by? You tell me for sure. <laughs> for some reason I thought Meta Taro is a play on the Studio Ghibli's My Neighbor Totoro. Studio Ghibli is Japanese uh, animation studio, aren't they? Or movie something. Very famous for making very extraordinary um, movies. You know, incorporating the cuteness of that song into metal, my neighbor Totoro, and I thought this artwork was hinting at the same thoughts. I guess I was way off. Ha, huh. which artwork? Let's see this crime. Hirozaku Sato. Who's Meta Taro? Well, I'm not familiar with that uh, movie he referenced anyway, so... I think I, n I might recognize it if I saw it. But maybe not. Probably not. Taro Hakase. They appeared on his radio program. I've also thought about that. Anyway, this is a link to the recording of said radio program with subtitles. Oh, I wonder if I should react to that one day. You tell me if you want me to. Taro Hakase is a Japanese musician who specializes as a violinist and composer. He was involved in a Japanese band called Chrysler and Company, which formed while he was in college. He played the violin. Their first eponymous album released in September 1990 and sold 74,000 copies. Their second sold 81,000. Uh, Steve McClure of Billboard wrote that they have become Japan's unlikeliest pop idols, attracting hordes of screaming fans. A far cry from the decorum and reserve usually shown by Japan's classical music audiences. The band provided the music for Celine Dion's single To Love You More, which was recorded as the theme song for the Japanese drama Koibito Yo, My Dear Lover. The song reached number one on Billboard Japan. He then joined D Dion on her nationwide promotional tour making television appearances and performed the song during her 1996 Falling Into You tour and her 1998 Let's Talk About Love tour as guest violinist. When she went on hiatus to have her son, Hakasi pursued a solo career and Chrysler and company disbanded after having produced 11 albums. So, were you interested in any of that? Do tell me. Do you relate to any of these crimes? Or are you very extraordinary to you? <clears throat> I will leave it there for now. But what are your theories? I'm sure you have some indeed. What was the meaning of that? I really enjoyed that video. Uh, I miss dancing to Bobby Metal. I like that choreography a lot indeed. I like that, that tippy-toey thing they did. 
uh, moving back and forth across the stage. I like that very simple move they did. And I liked that Sue was doing that fox met, uh, the fox symbol with her hands. And so were all the crowd joining in with that. Such great uh, professionalism, such great technique, such great power. We are entranced by you to you. Don't stop for sure. Tell me your thoughts, show me your crimes, and remember, chump on that subscribe button. If you would like to eat the cheese and do have a look at my baby metal playlist for sure. And do subscribe to my gaming channel, The Moonshin Plays. My face will pop up somewhere wearing very orange headphones. I hope you stay with me. <laughs> Farewell, my moonshins. Take care, my moonshins. <laughs> ah! For sure!